the problem with carbon steel metallurgy is we can only use carbon steel where the temperature is less than 400 degrees centigrade. Because the, the moment the temperature exceeds 370 degrees centigrade, it nears 400 degrees centigrade, a particular problem starts in the component which is under pressure and temperature and that is called crit. And carbon steel does not have any significant strength against crit. So for that, what we need to do, we need to add some alloying elements which can increase its strength against crit. Okay, alloying elements like as I told you, chrome, moly, vanadium, etc. So whenever the temperature exceeds 400 degrees centigrade, for example, the LTSA is the primary superator. These are all the area where the temperature will be in excess of 400 degrees centigrade. We cannot use carbon steel there. So there the metallurgy what we use is as a chrome moly metallurgy is called T11, SA213 T11 for tube and the header will be 333 P11. Again, note it down. This is having one one fourth chrome, that is 1.25% chrome and half percent molybdenum. Just note this down. For low alloy steel, the first thing what we use is T11, which is one one fourth chrome and half percent moly. Usually this, this metallurgy is used where the component temperature is not to exceed around 500 degrees centigrade, right? So around 500 degrees centigrade, we can use this and we are using this. The designers are using this. But wherever the metal temperature is expected to go beyond 500 degrees centigrade, 500, 510 degrees centigrade, then T11 cannot be used. There we have to go a little higher alloy and that is called SA213 T22 metallurgy, which is having two quarter chrome and one percent molybdenum. So note it down, SA213 T22 for tubes, SA335 P22 for pipes. <laughs> This is the most common metallurgy used in the superheaters, uh, in supercritical boiler, the water walls. These are the metallurgies which are being used. This, this metal we are using where the temp component temperature is uh, uh, within 540 degrees centigrade. Okay, so where the component temperature is not expected to increase beyond 540, there we can uh, generally use this metallurgy. But Nowadays, the final superheater, the final reheater, that temperature, the steam temperature itself is around 540. So the metal temperature is in the range of around 555, 560 degrees centigrade. There, again, this T22 metallurgy cannot be used, right? So again, where the metal, the metal temperature is expected to go beyond 540 degrees centigrade, we are using an even little higher metallurgy than this. This is a modern... Uh, metallurgy for the last 15 20 years it has been there and that is t91 metallurgy which is nine chrome one moly and 0.25 percent vanadium is added to increase its creep resistance this is a highly creep resistant steel t91 sa213 t91 and sa335 p91 would be the header metallurgy so your final steam header the main steam header will be of p91 metallurgy for the 500 megawatt unit and the 660 and the 800 megawatt unit, right? And uh, talking about the 500 and 660 megawatt unit, suppose I talk about 660 megawatt unit, in 660 megawatt unit, the, the final temperature is in the range of around 570, 580 degrees centigrade, right? Where the metal temperature is expected to increase beyond 590, 600 degree, up to which this metallurgy is usually used. Up to 600 degree we can use it, but if the metal temperature is expected to be 600 degree, it is safer to be using a higher metallurgy than this. Now, as you can see, the total alloying, alloying percentage is actually exceeding 10%. It is 10.25%. Still, this metallurgy is considered to be a low alloy steel, LAS, low alloy steel. Okay, beyond this, if we add more, then we have the high alloy steel, as I told you, the austenitic stainless steels. So what you are going to see 
in the 500 megawatt or 660 megawatt definitely you are going to see that the final few coils of the final superheater and the hot reheater will be made of austenitic stainless steel so the austenitic stainless steel which we are using it's called 188 that means the basic criteria is the chrome will be in the range of around 18 percent or little more than 18 percent and the nickel will be again 88 percent or a little more than eight percent okay so these steels are used for various purposes but uh, in general in boiler metallurgy in the final superheater and final reheater the elastic which you are going to find is this two one is the ss sa213 tp304h and sa213 tp347h so just note this two down so the final superheater the final few coils of the final superheater and the final reheater will be made of either, either SS304H or SS347H metallurgy. But the header will be again of P91, right? Header we do not, because header is not receiving heat, the final steam temperature will be in the range of 575-580. So we don't have any problem with using P91. So your mainstream header will be of P91. <clears throat> but the heating coils, the final heating coils will be made of either 304H or 347H. 